fellow campers and friends, this is Elon Paul, and we're doing our regular playthrough through the orbital section of things. Now, at the time you're probably seeing this video, I believe we're starting to get into the second week of June, and there may be an expedition incoming. We we'll still have these videos. I have these videos pre recorded that I've done uh, through like one session at night or during a weekend or something like that where I record several videos in a row so that I can stage them out over the course of weeks. Uh, I do that purposely because I've got a lot of things coming up this summer uh, with family and friends and stuff like that so there's a lot going on and I'm trying to make sure I get at least one day here and there where I can record a group of videos and get them posted so that you all have something to entertain yourselves with. So that said, you're going to see some things that are going to come out every single week but they may not be in sync with the latest update that we believe is going to come out somewhere around the 12th of June, possibly followed by an expedition. At that time, I will also be doing some runs on uh, No Man's Sky as far as the expedition is concerned, and we'll do a playthrough and things like that. So you're going to see a lot of live streaming at that point. Anyway, moving along, this is the regular playthrough. This is, I believe, episode 10. I could be wrong about that. It's getting really close that I start to lose track of how many episodes I've done. As you can see, I've got my swing wing now. Uh, uh, really, really glad with this ship. Now, in between episodes, what I've done, like at late at night and stuff like that, is I'll go through and make improvements to myself, to my ship, to my... Uh, my, my base here, as you can see, I now have a landing pad. I went ahead and went up to the anomaly and got that so I could make a landing pad. I was getting tired of my ship appearing inside of the uh, minor settlement here. Uh, so I wanted it just to keep popping up where it needed to be. I also made sure I found more of the dissidents, uh, these uh, interceptors and stuff like that. I wanted to get some more of those so I could build up some money by selling them. It's a great way to make early game money if you can get these ships. Uh, so that was the second thing I did. And you notice I, I'm still under 100 million, but that's because I did some trading. I went ahead and, pr and purchased some of these, and I traded them out, as well as I went to a space station and started to find and purchase a bunch of A-class ships so I could get upgrades and things like that. And in the process, I was able to, as you can see when you look at my ship here, you can see that this is all filled in. I've even got a second row or, or fourth row underneath for technology. And in the... Uh, uh, consumables area and the cargo area. Let me just get this. Hold on. It's there. We go. Expand tech. Uh, all items. Okay, so in the cargo area, if you will, I've even got this kind of filled in right here, except for these four. I need four more upgrades to get this all filled in. And as you can see, I also got a whole ton of radiant shards for, you know, fixing all this. Bunch of mirrors, of course. Um, that planet I found is fabulous um, because I created a small base computer right next to a, uh, a sentinel uh, pillar. So as soon as I appear there, I just go to the pillar and shut off all the sentinels on the planet, and then I have free reign to get whatever I want. So it is awesome. That is like the best thing to be able to do. So I don't have to fight sentinels every time I want to get some extra resources like inverted mirrors and stuff like that. Absolutely fabulous. I'm loving this a lot. Been fighting some pirates too. I almost had the chance to get a freighter, um, an A-class freighter. It was cool, but I'm going to hold out for the S-class. I am going to hold out once I find an S-class freighter. I'm really not really concerned about the design because after I get a freighter, I'm going to look for a dreadnought one of these days. So we'll worry about that later. All right. So moving along. Our multi-tool is still the same multi-tool. I have expanded it out, so now I have more room in here. It's still an A-class. It's got a supercharged slot over here for the hijacked laser. I got my scanner in place with some upgrades. I got two spots here for my bolt caster. And as you can see, I'm doing some halfway decent damage now. So I really don't have to worry about facing anything anymore. Uh, so it's the starship, the, the multi-tool, and we're back to the exosuit. I've got an extra row in here as well as an extra couple rows down there in my cargo area. So that's fantastic as well. I even ended up with a couple extra upgrades that I need to sell off. So, and if you're wondering how I'm getting those, I'm getting those via exosuit upgrade charts. As I come across them at minor settlements or space stations and stuff, I'm purchasing some so that I can start creating them. I'm not glitching them. I'm not duplicating them. I am doing this completely on the books, legitimate the whole way. We are not going to screw this up. And for any of you that know me, I'm a very truthful individual. I don't lie. So this is going to be a straight through playthrough. Okay. We got some cadmium on board our ship. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in my, um, 
what do you call it in my cargo containers which i only have uh, what two yeah two right now so in my cargo containers this one's full i got all kinds of stuff including some pulse spitter packages i want to hold off on that because i want to get the upgrades for them first so i want to hold off on that i do have obviously some sentinel boundary maps i'm keeping a few in here in case i need them and all kinds of other upgrades including some salvage frigate modules and cargo bulkheads for the later down the road freighter that I can end up with. And there's all kinds of neat other stuff in here that I've acquired through missions and stuff like that. Minor settlements are a great place to get a mission. Sometimes you you land at one, you see a Viking, or you see Corvax, and you talk to them, and they'll give you something. Well, occasionally they'll give you missions, and I've been getting a lot of stuff via missions as well. You see, I've even got some Indium now, activated Indium. I need some regular Indium. Um, I do have some Emerald as well as the... You know, what I told you I had in my Starship inventory, I have some cadmium. This is good stuff for getting the uh, upgrades for your ship, like the cadmium drive I have up here so I can get the red planets now. So I should be able to start building out the others as I acquire the upgrades for my hyper hyperspace unit. And there's only a few things in here. Uh, this is just the overflow right now. Some upgrades, and I'm gathering up gamma root and plants as I can get them because I know that those missions are coming up soon. So I want to hang on to those. And for knife modules, so for when I get my... Uh, knife uh, unit inside my ship all right so moving on and another thing you'll notice in my starship that i got i i do have this now i have a conflict scanner and an economy scanner i didn't get them through missions i got them through acquiring ships that had these installed so i pulled them off there and installed them that's exactly what you should do so very very nice right and i got one more surprise to show you real quick surprises surprises and then we'll get to the missions this is a new ship I just acquired by accident in my search for ships to purchase. I was getting A-class ships so I can get upgrades, and I ended up with a Squiddy. I ended up with a Squiddy. I couldn't believe it. One of the rarest exotic crafts that you can find. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Let's do on to photo mode and get the sun up above us so you can see what it really looks like and we'll take a look at it so it's actually a really cool looking ship it's more white than it looks yellowish right now because of the sky that we have here and it's got that nice tiger pattern on the back of it that like they all usually have um really awesome little ship and these exotics for those of you who don't know every exotic is automatically an s-class ship as you can see automatically this one doesn't have anything special going on so if we go into there it does have a, you know the supercharged slots here as i expand it out we'll get more super, we'll get one more supercharged slot someplace and again nothing special about the ship i haven't done anything with it it came with a couple items in my cargo uh and that was it so oh i picked those up when i went through a uh, asteroid field but really happy i haven't expanded anything but this is going to be definitely an addition to my collection that i will keep so there we go there we go very very happy about that so hey yay got myself a cool ship anyway we're going to come back to the swing wing which we'll use for our purposes of what we need to do and let's get moving so we are doing the weapons uh research right now so our next thing is to do which we left off at our last episode is to destroy planetary depots so we have to take one out and you notice it says destroy depots with multi-tool weapons you cannot destroy them with your ship if you do that it doesn't count the mission will not proceed so you have to actually get out of your ship to destroy it so we should have access to one nearby i don't know if it pinged it oh there it is right over there so 30 minutes away we could take our rover but i'm not going to we're just going to have to take the ship if it was like eight minutes away on foot i'd jump on the rover and take it so let's go ahead and head over all right and this this i have to admit the swing wing is really cool i just don't quite get the back end of it it's almost like they took a volkswagen bus or some kind of a pickup truck or something and shoved it onto the back of it really really strange all right and you remember my rule like i said if you find these depots in your searches when you first start out on your game and you first land on a planet you see a depot and you're thinking hey hey i can get some quick money here don't do it Okay, leave the depots alone for now. Later on, you can destroy them to your heart's content, but you will get a mission like this. You'll have to destroy a depot, and if you're messing around with it and you destroy a depot that it's going to end up sending you to, you get nothing. There we go. Oh, oxygen, I'll grab it. 
I, I do have a good amount of oxygen in my inventory, um, but I had depleted it making other things, so I'm trying to build it up as I come across it. All right, here we go. So there's our depot, which we are going to hit from a distance. We could take out some sentinels, but I think we're just going to go ahead and hit this from a distance. You know, it's a funny part. I don't know if this will take them out faster or the laser. Let's see. No, nope, laser won't do a thing. All right, so it does have to. Be, you have to do this with your weapons. Now, the great thing about a bolt caster, unlike say a neutron cannon or something, is it's more destructive the further away you are. Uh, not more destructive. Pardon me. Let me rephrase that. That was completely wrong. It is as destructive whether you're close or whether you're far away, because just as a bullet when you're standing in front of somebody can be damaging. Even from a distance, that same bullet traveling at the same velocity is going to be just as damaging. So hence it is with the bolt caster and a pulse spitter. Whereas neutron cannons, geology cannons, things, or, or definitely the scatter blasters or something like that, they don't destroy anywhere near as well from a distance. The neutron cannon can, if you can get them all grouped together, you could do more damage to a whole group of them, but it's better just to do it this way. All right, here we go. One, two, three... We've got to take them all out. I think we got them all. Oh, there it is. And I think we got them all. Yeah, pretty sure. I'm going to go ahead and take them out because I don't want them getting more stuff. Now, I don't know if they're going to send a quad after me. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> Quad will do a lot of damage, so you gotta kinda get away from him. I don't mind. You can see, looking at the top left, I've acquired enough upgrades for my exosuit now that I have nine pluses of health there, and that is the maximum you can have. There we go. Alright, so we're just gonna stick away a little bit and just keep an eye open and see how far they're coming. Yeah, I don't think they're going to come anywhere near. Okay. Yep, we're done. Good deal. And that's it. Now we just got to head back. So you can see that's funny, the uh, sentinels are just hanging out by my ship right now. Including a little doggy over here. Oh boy, I would love to take you out right now. Those little quads, they, they drive me up the wall. I could actually, I could handle a mech, I can handle a two-legged walker, but those quads, they drive me up the wall. Alright, let's head back to our base. As you can see, I've got an icon there, so they're already he's already calling me back saying, Yay! Now, something else I acquired, if you look at my inventory... Uh, hold on. This inventory, you'll see i got a pair of Viking daggers. Because I know he's going to ask about... You're going to have to get these for me, because my health is, is, is crapping out on me. So, we need the Viking daggers. You always need two of them, not one. You need two. Where do you get them, if you're wondering? You will get them from a trade station. Any trade station. Not a minor settlement. You have to go to a regular trade station to get them. My pet. It doesn't really make a difference. You can land it. I'll go ahead and land it. That's fine. I mean, they're right next to each other. It's not sym uh, symmetrical, and it's driving me nuts, but I'm not going to rebuild my entire base to make it symmetrical. So, And you notice the squiddy is still there. So, I have to leave the system and come back in order for it to disappear. So it'll remain there. All right, let's talk to this guy and see what he's got going on. I love the name, too. Enemy Slayer. I have detected them. Their eye is upon us. You have done it. Haven't you? Your actions have summoned them. Confirm. I am sorry, Interloper. I will not be able to assist you in your fight. I am too weak. Take this upgrade module and prepare for their arrival. So we got a plasma launcher. Um really does a good job of damaging stuff. You notice it says it launches plasma shells, uh, launch plasma shells bounce off surfaces until their internal timer triggers a large explosion. 
but you notice it says careless use can result in damage to the user as well. So yeah, not the best weapon you want to use here, but good to have, good to know. They approach, but before the final fight, I have another task for you. I need to be strong to serve you. There is a substance, an offering freely given by the young to their elders that may yet restore me. I myself spent years enmeshed within the harvest circuits, my organs sacrificing their enzymes for the fleet. I was glad to do so, but we need not repeat such torment today. Enzyme remnants found on Viking daggers should be enough to heal me now. Whatever sacrifice enemy slayer Zamyang made for others, they do not appear to have re reaped the same benefits in their old age. The Viking's body is scarred, their speech labored. I cannot imagine they will survive another year. The armor requires Viking daggers to prevent their further decline. I accept the quest. Okay, good. Viking, the Viking appears relieved. They say nothing, but there is a look of hope behind their tired eyes. Okay, so give it a few moments for it to get this. So the technology is recorded to the catalog. You notice he didn't actually give me the upgrade, but I've got the recipe now to build what I want. So if I go to my multi-tool, I can select it and I can add, I can put in this here. And I have the recipe to build all those items as well. Am I going to do that? The answer is no. I am not going to put that in. So you see it says here, so what you can do, it'll stay on here and drive you up the wall. Just unpin the formula. If you don't want to build it, just do that. And you're done. Return to the armorer. So we're going to proceed because I have what he needs. I have not been idle in your absence until over. I have crafted another upgrade module for your ship. But the daggers, I can smell the battle inside from across the room. Give them to me. So we give him the daggers. The Viking takes the dagger and plunges it into their own arm. They immediately revive, their spirits restored. And he gives me phase beam technology, which again, is good. You see, these highly accurate laser weapons can recharge the user's shields by leeching energy from target shield systems. It's kind of a handy weapon to have. They don't do a lot of uh, <clears throat> damage to the other ship, <clears throat> but you can pull their shields down and give your shields more energy in, in a pinch. So, good to know. Should get some water, because I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. Now we are ready, Interloper. The Sentinels are here, and you shall heed out. Heed? heed? That was pretty good. Yeah, heed is H-E-E-D. That's pretty good. And you shall head out to meet them. This day shall be glorious, Traveler, as it has been before and shall be again. The Viking looks at me with pride. I seem to have provided them with renewed purpose of this, I am glad. But placing my world under threat, getting me to summon so many sentinels for pointless battle. When I'm back, I will need to speak to the armorer about the future. The armorer warns me that multiple sentinel forces have arrived near our home. I must defeat them. Except. Gra, 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 gra. Okay. And we've also got the cyclotron ballista. Positron ejector, all for the starship. And the infant knife accelerator. Yes! So now I can put that on my ship. That is the most damaging weapon you can get. I will love that one. Okay, so now we're going to do research for the for the Infra Knife Accelerator, because I want to put the, the Q Resonator, I think it's called, the secondary portion of it, and then we're going to put upgrades next to it. That should give me some serious firepower on my ship. All right, so let's head out. We are, uh, let me see here. We got our, our laser. We got our bolt caster with plenty of ammo, ammo so we're all set. Let's take a look around, and there should normally be a sentinel nearby. I don't see any. Okay, let me go back to here. Yeah, baby, we're going to be installing that. Garen, T you, I'm going to leave it there. Preparing for battle. All right, let's exit. Uh, let's go out this door. Yeah, there they are. So we are not going to do a multi-phase battle here. I'm going to take out these guys first. Because I don't want to have a long, long, drawn-out battle here. So we're going to take out each phase, and we're going to go through all five. Got him. Oh, they're over there. Where are they? Oh, he's right there. I didn't even see him. They're kind of blending into the landscape a little bit. This reddish landscape doesn't really help any. So, if you face in a particular direction, the sentinels will appear in that direction. So, if I if I face this way, they're going to appear over here. Watch. See? 
right there. Now we're going to have a, what do you call it, a uh, quad here in just a moment. My suggestion is, by the way, use this railing. It will help you a lot. Watch what happens with the quad. Not these guys. They can shoot over it, of course. See? Quad can't get over it. And I'm not taking enough damage to really worry about it. But I can hit the quad. And he tries to run into me. See? Little trick there. Okay, let's make him appear in a different direction. We're going to make him appear over there this time. So, up on the hills over there. Let's go ahead and do that. And remember, the uh, barrels that they drop will heal you. Oh, hello. Watch it. Gotta watch those. Keep moving for these guys. Try to get into the air a little bit more, especially with the mech. Because he will launch ball, those balls of destruction at you. Okay. You can get into the air a little bit. He has a Gatlin laser as well. So watch for that. If you get too close, he, he kicks in the flamethrower too. Alright. Let's face this way. I'm going to get him out in the open again. I don't want them uh, doing too, too much. And I, don't, I think we got all the barrels, too. Oh, there is some over there. Okay, so what is this? We're at phase five now. We're going to get the two-legged walker here in a little bit. Take out the call-in units. Take out the healers. Now, the, the walkers, the two-legged walkers don't have to be terrible. Okay, you get close to them, they really can't do much to you. But the healers, man, they just drive me nuts. Where'd that guy go? There he is. See? He'll hit you, and he'll do some damage. But it's a it's a rotating beam. This guy does more damage with the other stuff. But you have to get rid of the healers first in order to be able to do anything. He's gonna go behind me now. See what I mean about the Gatlin laser? And he's gone. So if you can get rid of these guys... Was there another barrel over here someplace? Thought I saw one more. He's gonna hit me again. I'm just gonna let him do it. There we go. No, no more barrels. Take out the legs, one at a time. That gives you a little bit of a reprieve, okay? Take out the other leg. And now the head has three pieces of armor on it. So you can see two panels. There's one, and we got one panel left. There it is. And then you can just take him out. And literally, I'm not moving right now because you can take out most of his health just standing here. Now, he is going to start shooting a whole bunch of crap at you. Just move. If you don't kill him first. So, see? Not very difficult at all. And down he goes. We are done. All the sentinels are now disabled. We're going to pick up the Walker Brain 1 by, by doing that, and you get a second one by destroying it. So you get two. Look around, make sure you have picked up all the combat supplies, because they are very, very much worth it. And go from there. And we're all set. Okay. Let's go in here and check out our... What we got, so there's the two brains we got. That's fantastic. And we got six salvage glass. Five, six. Alright, it only gave us one upgrade. But every time I get one of these now, I'm pretty much, unless I get like a maximum one, I'm going to keep trying to install them and check them against the ones I've got. Uh, see, not very big. Not very big. So this is only plus one damage and uh, minus two reload. And you'll see that these have, this is plus one and plus eight fire rate. Fire rate is actually more damaging than the, than the damage, believe it or not. The higher the fire rate, the better. You see this one is a plus nine fire rate. This one, and not in a supercharged slot, is a plus seven. But it's got three upgrades to it. So that's why I put it in there. Plus nine. Let me see what kind of damage we get. Hold on. Because this one's useless to me. So we'll go ahead and get rid of it. 
All right. So you, with it in there, 6313, let's put this one in, put this one next to it. Yeah, see? Not as much damage potential with this one in it, even though it had a higher fire rate to begin with. So having all three of them together makes it a higher fire rate. And I've got these organized in the best type of arrangement, believe it or not. I've, I've messed with it for about a half hour. I do have a paralysis mortar as well as the personal force shield. So I get the personal force shield by pressing my right mouse button. But if you hit your third mouse button, you click it, you notice at the top right, it says, uh, where is it? Personal force field at the top. So if you look at the whole thing at the top right and the, and the top left of that, that whole section, it says personal force field rotating across. We hit the center button, you can switch to paralysis mortar, combat scope, personal force field. So force field gives you that. I don't use it. I'm probably going to disable it. You get a paralysis mortar, which if you just right click one time, it does that. And you can disable the forces around you. I really like that a lot. And the third one is your combat scope. So when you're shooting, you notice that when you shoot, and this is fully loaded right now, right? And you keep shooting, it gets inaccurate, right? So what you do is you when you do the combat scope, it's almost like this. Notice it's very, very focused in the distance. And it starts going a little awry, but it's still way more focused than when you were doing it the other way. So very handy when you want to shoot things from a distance and just keep pummeling them from a distance. Very good in a PvP, so if somebody's all the way up there and you see them, you can literally keep the shots going. And what I do is rather than holding the button down, I just keep tapping it one at a time. So it keeps that one section going really, really well. So that's another thing I would do. So I'm back to personal force field. I'm going to go ahead and actually uninstall it. I don't need it. And we'll get some items out of it. It's time to dump some of these into my cargo containers real quick. Some of them are already in here, so I want to hang on to some. But it'll tell me that inventory is full on a bunch of these. Okay. Yep, that'll go in there. Okay. Okay, the brains can go in there. <laughs> yeah, the brains. All right, good deal. And we'll go over here and put the rest in here. These are handy. They, I mean, they sell for a good amount of money. You can see that. But I've got a good amount of money right now. I want to hang on to these for building things later on. So these are building blocks, and I'll hang on to those. Okay, definitely need those. Because occasionally you come across stuff that you want to build, like in your ship, and you'll need certain items. So you want to hang on to some of them if you can. These I don't need. I already know I've got a good hyperdrive modules. I don't need another one. I don't need the plasma launcher. And I definitely don't need a, a B-class scanner. So I'll be selling these later on. So there you are. Okay. Get out of that. There's our inventory. Okay. So we're doing pretty good here. Um, ship. We'll just take a look at the starship. All right. Good. Um, like I said, I do want to keep the Sentinel Cannon for now. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. And it will be in there for later. It's not going to do as much damage as this yet. This is 16,000 damage with all the upgrades. I need to get the Q Resonator and get the other upgrade first. Without the Q Resonator, it's really not as valuable. But the other upgrades will keep the heat, uh, the overheating down to uh, a lower level, so it'll have a lot more. It'll be a lot more effective. All right, let's go back to our weapons master. You survived where Herc fell, traveler. Forgive me. I was wrong. My whole life, I was wrong. It is not the dead that deserve our service. It is the living. It is you, traveler. It is you and you alone. Well, talk about building a, someone's pride up, huh? The Viking promises not to cause any more trouble for the base, apologizing profusely, telling me that the living deserve service more than the dead, that I am especially, that I especially am worthy of their aid. I think I mess that up every single time I see it. The armorer rewards me with a token of my great victory, except the reward. It has been an honor to serve you, traveler. Go on in glory. Okay, so we're done with those. Oh, he gives me the combat scope. Go figure. All right, so, and I've already got it. Grah, Traveler, I've been inspired by your actions to craft a multi-tool of great power. Would it please you to examine it? They're never usually very good. Behold, Traveler. See, it's always a C-class, and it never has anything on here you really need. So you're like, yeah, thank you. That's great. I mean, I can take it and sell it, and that's probably what I'll do. So, and I'll show you what to do with those. 
Gosh, I got so many multi-tools now. Let me just check real quick. I think I've got a whole gaggle of them. Yeah. So we're going to sell the one that he just gave us. The uh, unusual angle obstructor. We got two of those. This one, I think I only recently acquired. Let me just check. Oh, because it had this. I needed to pull that out put it in my other multi-tool. All right, good. So it didn't have anything else in it that I needed. I got it for that because it had the uh, upgrade. So, and the second one, if I'm not mistaken... Uh... Yeah, it has an A-class upgrade. I will probably see if I want to use it. Bolt caster, mining beam. Yeah, nothing special in here. So we'll go ahead and sell it as it is. So we'll go ahead and take care of those when we get up to the anomaly. Da, 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 da. Anomaly. Da, da, da. All right, let's see. Uh, so we want to move on. Let's go back to our missions. So you see, we're done with the warrior missions. Okay. The weapons master missions, if you will. We are still expanding our base. I want to check out the base computer archives because I've acquired a bunch of words. So let me do that real quick. We're only about a half hour into this episode, so this will be good. Um, yeah, wrong way. Hey, there it is. As one person told me in, in the comments section, it's randomized. It really doesn't make a difference. Just do one, two, three, one, two, three, you know, as you go through. So one... Unlocked. There we go. Recovery in progress. Data recovered. 98% is what we're up to. So we're going to search the archives first. Uh, 4925X follows. Time has come. Psst, move on. I'm guessing to move on. Something is calling me. I can... Psst, on my Starship communicator. I can access it, I guess, on my Starship communicator. Plotting route to the center. Alright, so this is a center. This is the end of it. Log lost. So we're done with all the logs. Additional data available, construction logs, let's see what it gives us. It says exosuit technology data extracted, but it never seems to match up, so downloading plans. Personal upgrade module is synthesized from data scraps. Let's see what we get. Readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation of next segment. It actually did give us an underwater, prote underwater protection module, which, by the way, I've already got one. I believe. I think that's just an upgraded ar air harvester. So I don't know what even technology it is because it doesn't give me an X or S or anything like that. The others don't either now that I'm looking at them. So I do need, let me see, I need a heat upgrade. And I feel like I'm missing one more and I don't know what it is. Heat. So you've got toxicity or whatever. Toxic damage and radiation protection and cold. So we need heat. And I feel like we need one more and I don't remember what it is. Okay, I'll get there later. Maybe it's just the water. I don't know. So that should do it. So let's go ahead and put this in my multi-tool real quick. Real one. There we go. So this one is an A-class upgrade for the laser. Let me see what it does for me. 30% heat dispersion, 16% efficiency, and 11% mining. Heat dispersion. This does not have heat dispersion. This does. Minus 12 and minus 18. That's really good. We'll keep that. And minus 12. So minus 18 heat and minus 12 overheat. Okay. I think I'm going to get rid of the B and keep the A. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll help out the mining laser a little bit. All right, and what was the other one? This one, optical drill. We'll need to make some room over there. Let's put the car, this guy over here. You there. I want to keep these organized. We'll get more room in here later on. And one of these days when I get enough nanites, I will go ahead and upgrade this to an S-Class. I think I like it. I think I like it. I mean, it's only got the two spots right here, but I'll keep this for a little while. All right, moving on. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that should do it here. So we want to go on to... I don't think we have any more. Oh, we do. Let me just check it real quick. It'll probably send me to another system. Uh, archive for user. Iteration lost. Unavailable. Possible remote terminus backup available. Download coordinates. Now it'll keep doing this because you're at 99%. It'll keep sending me to other terminals. We, we will follow coordinates, which will always be in another system. There you go. So we'll hold on to that for just a moment. I will check to see what system it needs to take us to. Because our next thing to do is our 
Not the planet distress, which I accidentally got. We can't do the industrial surveying because I don't have all the tools to do so yet. And we need to keep expanding the base. So let's go to the Overseer and see what we got next. Things are aligning. We are ready now for a Gek farmer to join us. Indeed, I have already prepared their contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workstation. The one thing I don't have. Go figure. Navigator Voint... Vointy? Grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with them, for a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. The Overseer needs selenium to complete the agricultural terminal plans. Selenium grows on scorched planets and requires hazmat gauntlets to harvest. So we'll accept. Selenium is not easy to acquire in the wild, but this only proves the value of recruiting a farmer. Okay, so there we go. We gotta get, gather selenium, and I'm like I said, I'm fairly certain I never got any, but we do need a heat upgrade at some point. We just check in here. Uh, no, I do not see any selenium in there. I do have some uh, nip nip butts though. Go figure. It took me a while to get back because I kept having to uh, sneak past the authorities. Uh, selenium. Okay, off we go. We do have hazmat gauntlets, if I remember correctly. Yes, we do. So we're all set there. Okay. And let me just move you down here. Because we're going to be selling you later. That's not what I was trying to do. There we go. I'll put that in my ship. Okay. Off we go. So, we need a planet that has selenium. Scorched worlds. Do any of the worlds in my system have it? Now, it's not telling me... To go elsewhere. So let's pulse out just away from this planet temporarily. Okay, that should be good. First person, let's check things out. I seem to recall at least one of these planets was hot. Webbed. That does not help me at all. Uh, turn around. Okay, all the rest of the planets are on the other side. That looks like a cold planet. Yes, it is, and we've been there before. Let's get around the edge of the planet. Alrighty then, that should be good. Uh, there's nothing over here, I think, right? No, just the one planet that we saw. Let's go down over here. You, what do you got? Molten, that is the planet we want to go to. So, when well, it looks like we've been there too. Let's go ahead and head there. And I want to check something real quick in Discoveries. So there are two planets we have not landed on. We are heading towards this one. Let me check something real quick here. Let me see where these other planets are, because I think we might want to try a different one. There's a space station that's webbed. Uh, let's see. Over here? Oh, okay. That one we haven't been to. It's blue, but occasionally you get a planet that looks blue and it tends to be hot. Hazy. Okay, salvageable scrap. That's pretty good. And we have one more planet, and I don't know where it is. Molten. That's where we were headed. Oh, is it the moon? No, we've been there too. That's Skull. Yeah, that's Skull, the tropical planet. We just scanned that one. Oh, the webbed planet. We haven't been there, so it's not showing us that. All right, so humid, molten. So let's go back to our molten planet and head in. All right, good. So now we know what's out there. Very good, very good. Pretty far out, so it looked like it was small, but it's just really far out there. Now, my pulse engine is pretty efficient not terrific so i'm going to continue to look for some s-class upgrades for it at some point x-class are not bad but the s-class for now for me would be better because x-class you just you know you get what you might get and you can't guarantee you'll get a good upgrade for it so it is what it is now what we'll do is we're going to do this mission possibly one more and then we'll call an end to this episode and we'll move on to the next one Hopefully there's no storms going. Hold on. Alright, I looked like I was heading towards an ocean, so I'm going to head over here. Hard to tell which one's the ocean and which one... Okay, see, so the white that I was seeing was ocean. This is land. Alright, so what do we got? 
I'd love to find a landing pad. There's a volcano. That's very nice. If we can get some basalt over here, it would be really neat because that would come in very handy. All right, don't see anything here. Let's keep going. There it is. We should check out that sentinel pillar too while we're at it. I don't know if we've ever checked one out in the system before. Is there a landing pad? Oh, okay, this is just a, uh, yeah. Oh, what do you call it? A shelter. That's probably a beacon. I don't see anything else. Now, the oceans could contain crashed ships, so we want to keep that at the back of our mind. If we can get a nautil in one of these days. Okay, yeah, we're not seeing much. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to go into here, and we're going to use that. We want to look for a trade outpost, not trade surges. That way. Please don't tell me there's one on the other side of the planet. Okay, good. I can handle a couple minutes away. Let's just go in the upper atmosphere so we can get there just a little bit quicker. Yeah, see, much better. And we're going to go ahead and divert weapon to end, uh, probably power to engines and get there even faster. There you go. Yeah, I can handle 15 seconds. And we're going to take a steep dive. So as we come across it, we'll go ahead and dive steeper. So we don't... So we can get there quicker. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. Slow down just before you approach. Tag the landing pad, you're all done. Alright, good. So now I don't have to worry about losing any launch thrusters. Alright, so we're in good shape. Let's check some of the stuff out. There we go. I don't need any of the rusted metal anymore. And there we go. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, let's see. Looks like nothing special but the usual baloney. Okay. Pugnium. Well, go figure. I got plenty of that now, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. And we got ships landing in, like the ship that I've got. And I like to check them out, because you never know when an exotic or something will land for you. C-class. C-class. Okay, nothing special. Alright, so what are we doing here? We need to gather... Gather. Gather selenium. So we're looking for... Items. Now, being on a landing, uh, what do you call it, a, a large trading outpost, it sometimes is difficult to find anything nearby. Sweet root, yeah. Because everything's been pushed aside. Pulpy roots. All right. So we do have to head out into the wild and go find it. We're on a, a hill, so you want to look down a little bit, too, on occasion. Yeah, that's just our icon here. All right, nothing. All right, let's go ahead and exit the platform. Go. And we got plenty of batteries on us, so we're going to be using those. And our scanner is at a pretty good distance. I think it's like between five and six hundred. So if anything pops up on the scanner, I should be able to see it. Try to stay away from the volcanoes. It's not that going to damage you or anything like that, but. If there is plants near it, it could be encompassed. That is, the volcano could encompass them. And you won't be able to get any. I don't know what sentinels are like on this planet, so I guess we're going to find out. You're going to hear the explosions on occasion from these things going off. Alright, what do we got? That is sweet root still. You think on a planet like this we'd have selenium, but I'm not finding any just yet. Uh, transmission tower. Let's go ahead and hit that. That means crash ship. Ooh, is that what I think it is? No, it's just an organic. Thought it might have been, um... 
Yeah. I thought these might have been, uh, what do you call it? S storm crystals, but they're not. Now, Kevin's, it would also mean really nasty storms on this planet, but... Go ahead and hit the damaged machinery while we're here, as it could contain an upgrade. Anything? Plain nanites is good too, just to be clear. I don't mind that. Is that the door? I think this is the door. Yep, that's the door. Just they need to mow. Alright. In we go. Let's grab this. Three nanites. There should be... There's normally a guy in here, but I don't see anybody. I'm going to go ahead and grab this anyway, just because I want to make sure my health is at maximum. Okay, what do we got? Stress call. Long since died. Okay, so this is going to be a good one. Uh, interesting. All right, so I've done a few of these now. One, five, three, seven, five, nine. One, five, three, seven, five, nine. They're in, in uh, pairs. So they're four apart from each other. One to five is four. Three to seven is four. Five to nine is four. So one, five, three. So go by one, three, five, seven. Seven's going to be the next digit. So three. There we go. They make you think a little bit. Ah, freighter. I don't want a freighter on another planet. I was hoping for something else, but okay. It is what it is. Which means we'll have to go there to tag it before we'll find anything else. Alright. Get client. Alright, take a look around. Let's see what we can find. Looks like we found all the creatures on our planet. Don't want to look back the way we came. Let's look ahead. That's just going to be, yeah, pulpy roots. Alright, selenium. Need you to show up for me. Now, selenium, selenium you can see from the sky, too, so maybe I should just take my ship out. Hmm. Because, honestly, I'm not finding anything, anything close by, and I'd rather look. Okay, let's do this a little quicker. That would be a smart way to go, right? So, we're going to pull our ship in in using the beacon over there. The ship puller inner. I don't know what else you want to call it. Early game, get your stuff. Navigation data, it's a call starship. Starship caller. I don't want it landing on my head, thank you. Alright, good. So now we're going to look at the icons up above, and we're going to be focused on the ground a little bit. Okay, so we got what looks like just a shelter over, the, over there. Oh, wait a minute. That's more than just a shelter. What is that? Oh, okay. It's Navigate. It's one of those platforms. Okay, never mind. Moving on. So we're looking for these plants. Selenium, like I said, is very is usually very easy to spot. For all I know, I've flown over it twice now. And you guys are like, it was right there, you dummy. But I don't know. Can't hear you from here. It's already pre-recorded. By the time you see this, weeks have gone by. So we'll get the icons at the top indicating that plants are underneath us, and we should, again, be able to spot them. Okay. Those ancient relic type places. And we should be heading north because uh, cardinal points and everything like that. We're not going to need a lot of selenium, but I am going to get as much as I can because our farmer is going to want more as well. Yeah, well, that's life. Wait a minute. You know, the thing I'm forgetting... Hold on, hold on. It's not giving me what I'm looking for right here. Let's, let's land. Let's land real quick and get out of the ship. I'm wondering whether this planet doesn't have it. Yep, 
It doesn't have it. We don't have selenium here. Well, poop. Okay. Yeah, you were probably snickering up your sleeves in the last 10 minutes saying, ah, he's going to figure it out sooner or later. All right, so none of the planets in my system are going to have it. So we're going to have to go elsewhere. So let me do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's get out of that for a second. Let's go to the log. We're going to go to base computer archives, right? And we're going to go to a system it's going to take us to, so we'll kill two birds with one stone here. All right, so up there, we need to go to, right there. So let's go to this system, and let's see if one of the planets in the system has what we're needing as well. And we can go from there. And here we are. All right. No pirate battles. Good. So, do we have any of these? Because we've been here before. Now, none of these planets have done anything for us. So, we're going to have to... Okay, so it's taking me to that planet. Let me just scan the planet. Erky. It's not going to help us. We will be going there anyway, but it's not going to help us. Windswept. And it looks like there's only four. So, here's the one right next to me. Hold on. Cactus. Looks like this one right there. Boiling. Eh, see? See? Selenium. Okay, this is 1,200 kilometers away. Planet that it's directing us to is... 923. Okay, let's head here first, and then we'll head to the other planet and get our selenium. Alright, on our way. So, we're learning. We're learning. Now, I don't know how the video is going to come out. I'm hoping that the pulse lines aren't going to do too much. I'd love to put the mod back in. I don't know if it's been updated for orbital. I haven't tried it, but we'll check it out later. Uh, maybe after this next update that's coming out in a couple weeks, we'll see what happens. By the time you see this, the update will probably have already come out or be about to come out. Okay, it says approximate location, so we're going to come in a little bit lower, slow down, and see how many buildings we have, because it looks like we got a few. I think it's this one, because this one looks abandoned. Let me just check the other one real quick, because this one's abandoned, it's probably where we need to go, but... Okay, that's just a beacon. Okay, so no landing pad there. Interesting looking planet, I kind of like it. Looks like just a cloudy day on Earth. But this should be it. Yep, this is it. I'm going to hold off on the eggs this time. I don't need them. I all know that. I've already done that once. Okay, anything about to attack me? No, good. Let's grab stuff. Okay, anything else? on the walls. No. Okay, let's go ahead and get the terminal and see what it's got for us. I've reached the location marked by my base computer. The remote archive termina terminal hums awaiting my input. Access the memory. Attempting to read memory at 0 by 000 FF1A. We sought an escape from reality. That's why we're all here, isn't it? Indeed. Isn't that re re the reason why we're all playing this, guys? I can remember what it was like to be a traveler, to have that hope, that intolerable thirst for the new. I should never have listened to you, my love. There is no fire in this place. Interesting. That's a very interesting statement. Read that again. There is no fire in this place. No trophies fit for gods. There is only darkness. The family of glass, they watch everything. Whoa. I never really pieced that together before. Light no fire. Light no fire. There is no fire in this place. Darkness. Family of glass. This is all part of the Void Mother. They watch everything. Which they do. Search the physical cache. I search the physical cache. 
Attached to the terminal, whoever recorded this message also left a piece of technology. Life support module. Which we don't need. We've got plenty. So I will add that to my collection of stuff I need to sell. Uh, do we have... yeah. Go ahead and get that going so we can get rid of that. This I'll put in my ship. Okay, good. Alright. Very, very interesting. So we can teleport back and do more, or we can do our next mission. Which is going to be... That. Now, 12 animals on this planet. Supposedly. You guys see anything? It's, like, scary that they're not here. Let's see. It said 12, I think, didn't it? Woof. We're going to get good money for them, but what I'm looking for, obviously, is to get the nanites from them. Just 12 of them would be great. Oh, looks like we got a ball. Fascinating. Any flying creatures? There they are. Any more creatures on the ground? I think there'd be a ton of them. Alright. Got an unusual sentinel. What are we up to? About five, I think. I don't see any more flying creatures. It's time to check the database and see what there is on this planet. Because we're going to do this. Yeah, we've got five so far. So we've got ground... Ground. Ground. Three more ground. Then one underwater. Four underwater. Okay, so that should make it easier. We got How many did we say? Two more ground? Uh, one, two, three. Three more ground, four underwater. Okay. Now, we're only going to get so many at a time in the area. We'll get, like, one more in this area. And that's it. And the rest is going to be... we got to go someplace else to find them. Make them appear. Alright. I'm going to go look for them. Because I want to. This will probably be a little longer than an hour on this episode. Because we're already reaching the one hour mark. We'll just go out someplace else. Um, where are we on the planet? We're at the North Pole. We're near water, so I want to be closer to the water for now. It says you can find them in the south, but that doesn't always work. For lack of a better way of putting it, let me get out in space and take another jaunt at this. Just want to zoom, zoom, zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so there's the water. Let's go straight for the water for now. We'll hit an island. There's no storms going on right now, is there? Do we have water underneath us? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Boy, this planet is so hazy. Perfect. This is perfect. Let's land here. Okay, take a look. So, animals should appear here for just a little bit. We may not get all the animals we're looking for, because we're at the North Pole anyway. I'm pretty sure that that doesn't follow. So when it says found in the South, you may not always have that happen. Ah, oh, they got beetles here. So there's the second uh, flying creature. Let's see what kind of beetles they got. Curious. Yeah, it is actually time to get mine to... Um, Give me an egg, because I really need to make them bigger. Oh, got an atom. Ground-based creature over here. There we go. Okay. So that should be two, right? Two ground-based creatures? Ground, and then underwater. Okay, we one more ground-based creature, and then we're done. And it says in the south, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Come on, I don't want your headlights over. Oh, this 
get away from him for a moment and go someplace else. All right, I don't see anything, so I think we should head for the water and check it out, and then we'll head to a southern continent and see if that works. All right, south it is. Let's head for the water first. One, two, three. The fourth one's usually like a loner that will show up if and when he decides to. Let's go ahead and just float underwater for a little bit. Life support's getting a little low. Let me go ahead and. Uh, let's see. Let's use a dioxide this time. Nice to have the option to be able to use what you feel like using. And it will let me know when my life when my uh, underwater assistance unit is running low. We're in pretty deep water, so I'm hoping, see supplemental. We will charge it here in just a moment. Probably life support gel is what we'll use for that. No, nothing. Nothing seems to be attacking me. Interesting. We may have to go out further. I don't know why I scanned. Just ignore that. Oh, isn't, isn't that interesting? It tells me you can harvest that for oxygen, which we know. We know. Wait just a couple moments, because if they are out there, it may take a moment for the icon to appear. Yeah, this guy doesn't want to show himself. Let's check out the database on it real fast. Uh, down. Okay. So, underwater, always active, found in the north. So, we're in the north. It says rare. So, I'm hoping it pops up here soon. So, I'm going to go through a lot of life support gels if it doesn't. All right, tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pause for just a moment, give you guys a break. But oh, wait, there it is, there it is. And boom. Okay, we got it. Okay, let's head back to the um, ship. There it is. Yeah, I know that's fully charged, but you gave me the wrong one again. Thank you. Now it's charged. Alright, so now we can hit find the last animal on the planet. We'll get our... What is it? Almost 3,000 uh, nanites? So, you know, you tell me. Is it worth it? I personally think it is. Especially if you're doing this completely and utterly legitimate. Getting a curiosity farm or using sentinels to harvest them is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with doing that. Um, before I do that, take a look. Because maybe it'll just show up. No. See, that, that one popped in after a few moments, but we could see it the whole time. So that's what I mean by, you know, just letting it sit for a couple moments and watch. All right, I don't see it popping in. Let's go to a southern continent, like it says, and um, abide by the rules, if you will. Okay. So we're going to jet out away from the planet just a little bit. Good, that should be good. 
We're going to come down. Now, we don't know whether we're facing north or south, but I'm fairly certain that we, since we came from over there, we should probably go over there. Get down into the atmosphere and let it tell us where we are. Okay. We're still in the north somehow. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Turn around. Flat. So that was the north. So let's go down here and see if that's considered south. Okay. Same process. There we go. Okay, we're in the south now. Souther. <laughs> we're, more, we're more south than we were. Alright. Here we go. Just want to look at this one last stinking animal and call it a day. Takes a couple moments for procedural, procedural generation to kick in. Looks like we got ourselves a uh, damaged machinery over there. Maybe we'll take a couple moments. Looks like one animal just popped in. Our wonderful sentinel popped in. More animals. Let's go ahead over there. So we've got some oxygen on the way, too. So we'll get some oxygen. Word or two. What am I getting? Oh, wow. Yay. Get word. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, nice. Okay, we'll take a look. So animals should have had a chance to generate in at this point. We're looking for red dots. Obviously. There they are. There's one right over that rise. You should be able to see them from here. That's a plant. It's behind the rock. There we go. We got him. Done. Kangaroo style looking unit. Excellent. Just realized something on my keyboard. My keyboard? No, it's not. Okay. Something on my tray was squeaky. There we go. So let's get our... There you go, 3,000 nanites. I don't know about you, but frankly, I think it's worth it to do so. Alright, so let's head out. We're going to go to the other planet that has our selenium, and then we'll head back, create a base computer, and or the uh, terminal for them, and then we'll end there. Uh, so where are we going? Let's go back to the way we came, which would be that way. I think that's the planet, but let's go ahead and head over there. No, that's the abandoned one. Which says I've mapped it before. Oh, no, no, I just discovered it. That's right. Okay. Should be a planet below it, right? There. Boiling planet. We do want to hit the space station real quick. This is just a drop-in and drop-out type thing. So, and I'm waiting for my pulse engine fuel to get a little lower before I access or put any more fuel in it for purposes of uh, efficiency. I'm all about efficiency. I like efficiency better. Okay, so we're about an hour nine into this episode. This will be a little bit longer. I figure another five more minutes, maybe ten. Tops. So let's see. That is a really cool view. Don't you agree? Let's do this. And stop. This is a fabulous fabulous view. Look at that. Does it really get any better than that? I mean, come on. We're definitely taking a picture. And I'm going to do something else for just a moment. Oh, crap. It uh, messed up on me. Hold on. There. That's even a... That's also a pretty good view. But for some reason, the pictures weren't taken properly. There we go. So you're wondering why I did that, why I'm tabbing out. 
I've noticed that my pictures, even though I have them set to high resolution, do not come out as high resolution, and I don't know why. So I have to actually do a screenshot through Windows in order to be able to get a good picture of things. I don't know why. All right, moving on. Let's head for the space station real quick. Ooh, purple. Kind of really, actually, almost pink. Good grief. Really, really cool. Okay, Bitcoin provider up there. We are going to check it out real quick because, you know, upgrades are a big thing right now. I want some InfraKnife upgrades. Uh, I need an upgrade possibly for... Let me see here. Not my exosuit, but maybe my... I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop talking. Not, not going to worry about reactors yet. Creating my own ship just yet. But we'll do that down the road. So we got Infra Knife at B... Ah, S-Class. Excellent. I'll grab that. We do need more pulse engine upgrades. So I'm going to grab that too. Shield. Yeah, I will do it because I want to get my shields over 300. And the rest aren't really necessary. Alright. So let's... Go ahead and jump in here real quick. I'm going to put these in the ship. Easy access over here. All right, so shield. Yeah, definitely. See, I'm at 271. Why does it think... Oh, ha, ha, ha. All right, so 9%, 13%, 30. And 30. So let's get rid of the 9. Throw up to 281, 283 now. All right, so we'll keep that going. Uh, pulse drive. So pulse engine maneuverability is at 595. I'm going to put you here. So what do you give us? Maneuverability is at 11. Efficiency 20, boost 25. Better than that one. Better than that one. Better than that one. 6 and 17. 7 and 13. Uh, let's get rid of this one, I think. Yeah. So maneuverability is at 606, 607. So we'll leave you over here. Let me see what happens when I do this. Still 607. That doesn't seem to change anything. Fascinating. Okay, so that's a good spot for you. All right. And finally, InfraKnife module. We'll go ahead and install it right now. Okay, so we need the Q resonator to get that going. Is this our launch fuel? Yes, it is. Uh, we'll hold off on that. We can get one more launch out of it before we have to upgrade it. Normal mode, you don't have to worry about them as much. Check out your ships. We've got an A-class. I don't really want to do the selling right now. I don't think that's necessary. So let's go ahead and get going. Do we need anything for our multi-tool? I don't know. What multi-tools they got, by the way? Eh, I'm not into these very much. It's an A-class doesn't really have anything on board that really is going to help me out. Let me check the other one. Maybe it's an S. Oh, it's a different one. That doesn't happen often. C-Class. Ugh. Yuck. Why? Why bother? Hey, what do you got for me, buddy? Uh, geology cannon. And that's it. That's all you got. Alright. Not worth it. And you are... what again? Oh, exosuit. Let's go ahead and upgrade my exosuit. Uh, let's see, we put it down there or in technology? Um, let's put it down in there. They all cost 200000 now, so... And any upgrades that are worth my time to even bother with. Underwater, which is better than the one I've got, so I might go ahead and grab that. Just one. I need heat protection. Shield is good. But I'm really doing well in that area. I don't think I want to. We had heat shield anywhere? Life support. That's it. And I've already got a decent amount of life support, so I'm not worried about it. Looking for a heat shield. We got an A-class heat shield. I I'll go ahead and grab that, because I need something at this point. All right. So that's why I wanted to hit there. Now I remember. <laughs> so heat, you go there. Water, I'm going to go ahead and uninstall you, even though I just charged you, unfortunately. I'm going to put you in instead. Okay, good. Let's move on.
All right, I don't think we need anything else. Uh, starship, we've hit the multi-tool, we've hit exosuit. Nothing more to do. Yep, sorry, you're gone, you're gone. Okay, good. Let's go back to my ship and get out of here. Selenium, here we come. Like I said, looks like a truck in the back, doesn't it? Like someone forgot? Eh, who knows. Abandoned, so the planet we're going to is right there. Right? Good pulse. Yep, that's it. Alright, good deal. Uh, so we'll get here, and we're going to look for selenium, pick it up, go back to our system. And rather than going back to the space station, I'll just hyperspace over to our uh, place. What's our hyperspace fuel look like right now? Oh yeah, we're fine. 90%. Right. Coming in for a landing. Wham. So, selenium. A lot of obstructions here, but selenium is still pretty recognizable from uh, from the air. Hmm, interesting. Funny part is, I don't see any. I see an oxygen patch that we just passed over. Oh, is that some? No, that isn't. Selenium looks sort of like those little plants down below, but they've got a little, a lot of glowing nodules on them. So, as as is with anything that you can harvest, it's usually pretty recognizable by some sort of, sort of glow as you fly over. Plus, you're going to get an icon appear on your display above your head. That's going to indicate that you just found something. Alright, so this is going to be one of those planets here that... It has the item, but it's sparse, I guess is a word. Oh, there they are. There's some right there. See them? Ooh, that's a good, good amount. Alright, good. Require obedience, huh? Oh, that guy's going to get me. Okay, so there's our selenium. Let's grab a bunch of it. You, you don't get too much from each one, but since there's so many of these things here... What am I hitting? I'm hitting something. Can't get that out of my way. Oh, oh, got it. There we go. Okay. Like I said, I want to grab as much of it as I can, because I know I'm going to need more. There must be some inside that plant to my left, but that's okay. There is enough here that I don't think we're going to have any problems whatsoever. Yeah, I can't even get close. <laughs> I wonder. Nope, I can't even get past it. Alright, well, worth a shot. See, there's some in the middle of it all. Can't get close enough to it to get it. That's okay. This one I think we might be able to get. There we go. I think that's all of it. Oh, there's one little guy over here I didn't get. Oh, two of them. How did I miss that big, huge one over here? Good grief. Done. Alright, there's one in the middle that I can't get to. So how much did we end up with? Let's see. 480. Okay, yeah, that's a good amount. That's a good amount. We need 200 for the thing, and then we'll need 200 more for something else. So, good. All right, we are heading home. Back to the Overseer. So we're going to go back to our world. That's here. On our way. Excellent. Yep, see? About ten more minutes it took. Yep. So we'll get in there, we're going to make the terminal, and then we're going to call this episode completed. I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to record some more episodes. 
I've got most of my day I'm allowed to do it. It looks like a rainy day today anyway, so I can't really go out and do anything. So looking forward to getting all this stuff. There's my paradise planet, and there is my base. Yes, I know the base computer is online and that archives are available. So what's going to happen is with the base computer, it'll keep sending you on missions. And I honestly don't know if there's an end to those missions or if they continually send you on missions to do things. But it is part of a story arc, so you might as well do it, and it's going to give you more insight into the Void Mother and the Realm of Glass. So by all means, please continue. I'll land on my pad today. Just we're done. Okay. Turn to the overseer. It is good to see you, friend. I trust the Vikings' technology kept you safe. I have the selenium required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. It will be interesting to see what effect the second geck will have on my overseer. Cannot imagine they have spent much time conversing with the scientist or the armorer. So we give the selenium. Ah, to farm. We shall exploit the earth, free at last from the sentinels, and practice the glory of trade. There's our agricultural terminal. It requires chromatic metal and condensed carbon only, so that's good. Once you have secured our farmer, you want to trade unhindered. You will want to trade unhindered to profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, for I shall make it so. All I require is a few, are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for a trade terminal of our own which will do. The Overseer requests circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. The Corvax scientists should be able to provide the necessary parts. Except, I do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the Gek. Nonetheless, it would be convenient to tap into the galactic market from right here in my home. Okay, so first thing we need to do though is we need to create the terminal for the other guy. Um, what I'm going to do... I'm going to put them right here inside the back door. So let's build that first. Down here, I think. Agricultural terminal. So we're going to put it right here. And we're going to put it sideways, like right by the back door here. And we're going to put all of our plants in another building outside. Yep, yeah, let's do it right there. That looks good. All right, terminal built. We do have to acquire a circuit board. And we'll do that in the next episode. So I'm not going to do that here right now. We will see you guys in the next episode. This one has run long enough. So we will take, take care, everybody. Please hit the like button. It really, really does help the channel quite a bit. It helps everything that we do here on YouTube in regards to our uh, us content creators. So we really appreciate it. And if you like what you've been seeing, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much, folks. Any comments, please leave them. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. And if there's suggestions you'd like to see... Please let me know. I'm always up for a good suggestion and a good another video to, to answer your suggestion. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode.